Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We're out on the road again. So we've been invited very kindly by the organisers at the Van Life Fest at Scampston Hall, haven't we? Well, it's called because there's a lot of Van Life Fest things this week, this year, isn't there? Van Life Fest, Fest at, at the, the Hall. Hall, but it's Scampston Hall in Moulton in North Yorkshire. So without further ado, in true Northerner style, we're going to hit Aldi, we're going to hit the shelves, get some booze, get some food, and get on the way. And then when we get there. I hope to cry to somewhere selling Chinese food because I'm hungry. For a change. Just between these um, black clouds that we can see, there's a bit of blue sky mark. Mm. I can see it up there. So fingers crossed this weekend isn't going to be as rainy as they predict. But you know what a typical bank holiday is like in England? Yards. We've just come through a little town that we're going to come back to called Nairsborough. Canaresborough, yeah. as he calls it, but it looks really, really pretty. So that's one that we're going to come back and uh, do a little vlog on. We've got an hour and hour and twelve minutes now to where we want to be in Moulton. It's the other side of Moulton, actually. It's just North Yorkshire. Yon side of York. Yeah, we've got, we've got to go around the top side of York, haven't we? And then yeah. Up near, like we're going to Scarborough, but we're not. But we're not. So I will show you when we get there. Twenty-four hours later. How long's that just taken? All day, isn't it? What was it supposed to be? Two hours. Yeah. Four hours or something. Yeah, but we're here. We're here finally. We're just waiting to show us tickets and then we can get in and go and find where we are parking up. But yeah, we've had some major, major traffic on the way. But it's looking good. It's dry at least. A bit boggy, isn't it? Just a bit. Just this bit here where everyone's coming in, but the rest of it's looking good. And we've just found out there's supposed to be a Chinese, so I'm not fully getting my hopes up because it might well be that it's Thai and you know, I don't like Taiwanese. Taiwanese. I oh, like Chinese, yeah. Chicken balls and stuff. Yes, like. a friend of ours. Thanks, Penny, for that from Off Grid Camping. Has texted us to tell us, tell Mark there's a really nice Chinese and it's lush. So, young man's happy as Larry. <laughs> So the first stall we found, and it's a sweet one. Just yeah. one. What are you after? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Look at this. Who's here? Oh yeah. You're right. It's Gareth. Right. Managed to get him walking. Keep walking. Keep walking away from the sweets. Hey, I'll get a new hat. Beer bottles. We've got beers. Where ones? Are. I'm not seen them in ages. I must admit, I haven't seen them for it. They, they actually taste a bit beery, don't they? I don't know if they do or not, but mm. they used to, yeah. You used to pretend you were drunk after that, weren't you? <laughs> oh, you get an app, Mark. Look at them ones. You can be Spider Man. Mm. <laughs> Got all sorts here, haven't they? And the sun's out as well. <laughs> what are you looking at? Are you getting me a present? No, just looking at this. We've just found this, and Mark is called. Mark thought he said funky bombs. Fun bags, what's fun bags then? Because I've got fun bags. Funky right? bum bags. Just funky gear, isn't it? Look at these hats. Like that, that's smart. Yeah, well, it's a bit warm for it now, isn't it? There's your bum bags, that's a bum bag, Mark. You know what I mean now? You know when you, when you go raving? Yeah, I've got one already, haven't I? Yeah, right. Yeah, I've got one. Croc sunglasses. Yeah. yeah, that's what I should get you. When you want a Chinese, I should put them on. No! <laughs> it's lovely, it's a lovely day today. 
quite good actually. If you're on the beach and stuff, aren't you? Yeah, we've just found these. We do have actually. I've got one of I'm these. A green one, haven't I? Yeah, but it's hilarious. When you first got it, it was a joke trying to get they in. They look it. like a pair of big lips, don't they? But <laughs> there's one for you. Come on, one. We'll be all right. If you're right, if you're going on a beach for a day or something, you can just get on them. You can't sit upright. You just is it that one where you've got to run around the street filling them well, up? Got, there's a knack in <laughs> no, there to do it. Well, he does it. Eh? A lot of people do, but you don't. You just flick it in the air and it just gets it. Ah. Uh, like to do it properly. When we first got one, he was running around the street trying to fill it up. Right, this gentleman's kindly going to show us how you actually fill these because Mark had trouble trying to do his. <laughs> you know, if you've got a wind in it, if you're on the beach, you can just do it. But yeah, exactly. If there's a breeze, you just lift it up like a big windsock. You look, it's gone really still now. You've said that. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Right, so we've, not, we've no wind at all. So, so literally you've got two, That's two, a big two sections with a gap in the middle. Right. All you do is flick the end in the, in the air. So Are you ready? It, pull it, close it. Same on the second oh, side. So you do it. Right. That's it basically. And then you just roll it up. So what you do, Obviously, a couple of times each side if there's no breeze. Yeah, the, I must admit there's no wind at the minute there's at all, hardly. Like. No. There you go. Pull it. Ah! Of course it's Pull it. Pull it. That's it, that's got it. Look at that. Just roll it. So I've not run anywhere. No, you've I not. It. It's just a partial breeze run. Then you can't go any further. Look at that. You, you just tie it up at the end. Yeah, that's it. it. Brilliant, like if you've got, you know, just if you're just outside van, you want to lie down for a bit. It's brilliant, isn't it? And what do they compact, compact down to? Is it a look at that shoulder bag? So you can take that on the beach anywhere with you, couldn't you, for the day? That's it. Fantastic. Does it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it drives, yeah. Every folds in, sign or anything. Amazing, isn't it? Where you go, yeah. Well, cool. Uh, Probably maximum of an hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then if we go any further, we trailer it. Yeah, oh, all right. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. He don't want to bugger it up, do you? Know, yeah. It needs a little drive. Yeah. But freaking inside, that's amazing. Yeah, that is brilliant. What an idea that is. I'm in love with this van. This is really cool. Look at that. Oh. Now, if I were going to have a business, I would have something like this. So as well as being an absolutely fantastic festival, we are so impressed with this, aren't we? This is a really, really well organised festival. Oh, it is, isn't it? I have never seen showers at a festival. Free showers. Showers. Water lovely flights. and clean. Toilets everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere you look, actually, there, there, there's toilets. And catering, you've got your Chinese over there. Oh. And you've then, got your churnies. Then you've got your churros next to it. So that's Mark's tea and after sorted. We will definitely, definitely be coming back here again next year. Is uh, As you can probably hear in the background, the coronation's still going on, but... Uh, Which will be over and done with by the time this goes on YouTube. Yeah, so, hope you're all having a good coronation. Is it coronation or carnation? No, coronation. Coronation, coronation is that stuff that you put on your cake. Yeah, so they've put a big massive screen up for everyone to watch it. They didn't need to do that either. We have, over here, we have the wall of death. I don't like loud things, so we're not going to be going in there. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they have BMX shows. We've got to find that yet. Yeah. Oh, and there's a dog. There's loads of dogs here. There's absolutely a lot. And guess what? Dogs come free. No charge for dogs. Um, I'll find it. It's about, what was it? £55 for a ticket per person mm -hmm. for three days camping. All this entertainment. So much to look at can't knock it can you so we've just found the bar look what it's gold traders on tour you guys just for Novena's on tour and the cocktails are amazing porn star martinis eight quid I think I'll be trying one of them tonight Mark what would you eat what would you have Chinese <sighs> So we, with it being a van life fest, obviously there's vans here to look at and there's such a different, varied lot on, yeah. Right now, so. But this one's really caught my eye. This is absolutely stunning. Have a look at this. What kind of truck is it, Mark, a Ford? RV car. RV car, but it's massive. Look at this. Now, the thing you'll notice about this, it's got some very, very special features in this. If we just come to the main door, it's got a staircase that goes upstairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But well, it gives the illusion it has. 
but that is a really good feature look at that shower it's beautiful but the main thing have a look at this you don't see many vans with this an external garden <laughs> look at all these little pooches wow. that is absolutely <laughs> amazing so if you've got five dogs you can still do van life this is a proof of it isn't it mm. look at this one here hello and we're not talking small or little we're talking every size of dog in there i like that van that's my favorite i think look at this little chap here hello <laughs> <laughs> What is that then, Mark? What, what kind of van's that? It's got French Bulldogs in it, anyway. Oh yeah, it's a Dodge Travco. Travco, yeah. Built in the USA, 19, 1974, Mark. Yeah, it's got the American flag in it. Trust you to notice that. How'd you get in it? From the side, isn't it? Oh, is From it? It's yeah. high up, isn't it? Oh, I absolutely love this programme. It's even got the 11 uh, reg plate marks, Stranger Things. Oh, they've got all Stranger Things stuff inside as well. Oh, I've got to have a look at this. Oh, that is amazing. Wow, someone's really gone to town on that, Mark. Mm. Doesn't look lived in, does it? I or bet it is. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd really look at, look at that. They've got the footstep and everything, the mat. Mm. This is really nice. Look at the artwork. Look at even that look, two, the, on the tyres with two watches it's about, right? Yeah, for Eleven. For those of you who haven't watched Stranger Things, Eleven is the girl that's in it. Wow. So we've just found a lovely, lovely riot van. I'm gonna show you this because um, they've converted it so, so well. And I love anything with a bit of history. It's been in the Tottenham riots, this van. It is absolutely gorgeous. Wendy and Dave are the couple that have uh, transformed it into this lovely, lovely van. And look at the front of it there. It is absolutely beautiful. I'll just show you inside. Look at this. Can you believe this was a riot van? They've got seating for six here, two single beds, you can make it into a double, shower in the back there with a bathroom, so well made. And it's been in the Tottenham riots, like I say, unbelievable. And that's what the van used to look like. And there's a bit of information there, you can freeze frame your TV now if you want to read that. But did you say it's been in Tottenham, Tottenham riots? It's been uh, in Tottenham, yes. Football, did all the football grounds in London. Wow. Uh, the riots in central London, she was involved with those. Yeah, no, lovely to meet you both anyway. You yeah, you too. <laughs> BMX time, let's go and see what these guys are up to. Wow, I can do all do that easily. Well. Can you? Oh, you can't, can't, can't even climb the ladder, Mark, without falling off. <laughs> I used to be a BMX bandit back Anyone in the day. Else? Did you? Anyone remember? Put in the comments below. I know we keep asking you to put comments yeah. below. Um, yeah. Mongoose, BMXers, things Mongoose? like that. Yeah, it used to be Mongoose and stuff. So, uh, no idea. And I, I had a Falcon Pro, I think it was. I was Googling that the other day, okay. it came into my mind. Falcon Pro. So. Beyond me. So we've come along to the Good Life van here with Neil and we're going to do some bang drumming. Bang drumming or drumming? Can I not no, use these and can I just use his head on drum instead, Neil? You can do what you want. He needs to be banging into his head, doesn't he? I'm trying to leave. That's a loud one, isn't it? I'm going to leave him there banging that drum because he's having a right whale of a time. That's Neil and Caroline and they've put all this on for free. The lovely people, please go follow them on Instagram. The Good Life Van, lovely couple. 
So Omit Vans have kindly sent us these bug vents out to try. Um, apparently they're going to reduce condensation in your van, they give better ventilation and they stop the bugs from getting in as well. So Mark's going to fit it now and see what we have to do with it. They'll be quite easy to install aren't they really? So. Yeah apparently they're very very easy yeah. to install. So These are for the Fiat Ducato by the way. So. Yeah. They do do every range, the link is in the description below, so have a look at the website and find out if you can get them for your van. So to install them, dead easy, it takes five seconds, window down, put it all the way down you may as well. That's the actual vent, as you can see the badge is on the outside, so this goes to the outside of the van. And the mesh is really really fine. No bugs are going to get through there and it doesn't, apparently it doesn't let water through either. Oh, that's good, eh? So this is how you fit them. You just put them in the glass trap where the glass fits on the van. Push it right way up, takes up. Put your glass back up. Till it stops. Done. That's it, done. In. And look how nice they look as well. There you go. Nice and secure. So that's it fitted. Not only is it going to do the job that we want it to do, which is give us better ventilation without having to have the windows down all the time, we can walk away from the van now, knowing it's secure, and we're still getting loads of ventilation. Yeah. No bugs are going to get in. There's flies everywhere today. And I think they look pretty cool as well. So if you want any further information from about these vents, please go to Omit. And like I say, the link is in the description below. And go and get some of these for your van. So we've all darted back in now because the rain has caught up with us at last. But we've got to, what, half past four in the afternoon? So... Can't, we haven't done too bad really have we? Yeah, it's, been right. it's been warm and it's gone a bit cooler now. Um, just tracking the rain on the phone. Oh like you do. Yeah as we speak. And how, how bad is it? How not bad are we looking bad. at? There's some thunder up in the north east of it further up but it's not, probably not going to come here. No. Hey you can try your vents out now for getting wet. Oh, yeah. well, it's rained on anyway. So it? we're still getting some ventilation but yeah then it's not coming in is it? No it's staying like outside. Cracking. Because we can't have the skylights open obviously because it's raining but i'm cooking look what i'm cooking hmm kebabs better turn them down a bit actually making kebabs and chips in the air fryer because the kebabs here are 12 pound a chuck a chuck a, chuck, a throw each wherever you want to say so I'd rather cook than pay £12, to tell you the truth. Um, so that's what we're having, kebabs. Just waiting for tea to cook. What we're doing tonight? I see Kylie or something. Is it <laughs> Kylie? We tried Kylie. Yeah, there's a group called We Tried Kylie on first. And then, oh, looking forward to this, a Queen tribute band today, of all days, on the coronation as well, Mark. Mm gonna be well good can't wait to stop this rain goes yeah it'll blow over i think a bit later on won't it so. yeah yeah but up to now loving this festival so well organized isn't it tomorrow there's more on there's loads more on right throughout the day isn't there? Mm, yeah so um we'll keep you informed when from next year's tickets go on sale like i say because the event people are going to keep in touch with us and tell us when that'll be so you shouldn't miss this next year from what we, we've only been here two days and we're really impressed and I'm going to show you this little device which we've been sent out from a company called Power Ad Pro. Now there's the internet's awash with power banks and solar chargers and all that business uh, on, on the internet, social media and YouTube. We've been sent out this little device. It is a power bank in the way that it's a, a tiny little uh, charger for your phones and the beauty of it is it's fast charge capable. So uh, we, we got two sent out. There's one I'm just putting my phone on charge now um, and it charges fast. As you can see, it's charging there now. So it's an hour and 15 until full, so that's fast charge because I've just had it plugged in before and it was two and a half hours. So. And it fits in handbags beautifully. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's quite, it's heavy, but not dead heavy. It's a, like as heavy as your iPhone or whatever. So, um, and that is, uh, it's got, it will charge up a phone probably three times. It's powerful enough to even keep up uh, with your MacBook or your, your laptop or whatever, if it, if it supports that sort of charging, so. Yeah, it's a, it's a different size power bank, basically. Yeah. It's a much more yeah. portable one. Now, the details are 74 watt hour battery in it, so it's not massive. You're not gonna be running your van off it, but to charge your devices, the app centers two is one in my bag for my drone, and when the batteries are flat, rather than keep buying batteries, just top them up with that. Um, but it's brilliant for charging your phone. We use it all the time. Don't yeah, we? you're impressed. You keep going on impressed. about them, don't you? And yeah. I like it that 
my phone always runs out while we're out always guaranteed it doesn't last all day but with that in my bag and the cable and again if you'll see the ports you look at the ports there they're blue that's because it's uh used to be called usb-c i think at one point but they're capable of fast charging so so yeah, yeah we rate them but they're so, really good don't we yeah so thanks to power Ad pro for sending out these little power banks we really do rate them but details will be in the description below where you can get these from right all ready so we're off to go and watch the queen tribute can't wait are you looking forward to this actually there's a carly one on before queen so yeah. we're having a full night of it aren't we yeah i'm gonna go and try carly <laughs> that's actually what they're called was it we tried carly mm. not that he's gonna try carly anyway we'll see you in a bit absolute disaster oh my god what's going on it's only eight o'clock Oh God, I am not going to be able to live with this man tonight. There's a notice on it, Lisa. There's a notice on it. I hope he doesn't say due to COVID. Oh, He's so wanted. Oh, it's a food tolerance notice. Why aren't they open? Oh look, Kung Po, black bean and noodles, not applicable. Have they sold out or what? No, we've still got chicken, sweet and sour. Well, they haven't, because they're not yeah. open. Are you gutted? So we'll knock on the door. <laughs> Have you not got Tar Banana Leaf's number? See where they are this weekend. Oh, oh that's absolutely terrible, guys. You're missing out on so much trade. Have you come to see if they're open as well? Sorry? Have you come to see if they're open? Yeah. Gutting, innit? Well, I think they've got a problem. Oh no! Oh, what a shame! I've got one very sad man here. Very sad man. Oh. So the generator's broken, Mark. Sorry, love. Right, morning guys. As you can see, I've got my shades on because we had quite a hectic night last night. It was brilliant that. But Mark has just come across this. Good idea or not a good idea? Look what he's found. You must be crackers. That's it. an accident waiting to happen. Which is where, which is where he's from? I have no idea. Where's handlebars? <laughs> That's it, Mark. How'd you get on it? You've just got to go for it. We old, we old me. Shall I go for it? No, I trip? ain't holding you. I ain't being involved in anything. You've got to put it right under your bum and go for it. It, it, it goes. When I put the foot on it, it goes. I think I better leave, man. Yeah, I think you better leave it as well. A bit disappointing, isn't it? What about some hula roots? Hula root, yeah. Go on, you can do hula rooping. As long as it's not going to put a mark all over your t shirt. Fair go on then. I used to be a hula root champion. <laughs> yeah, are. that was that, that was Thank look the clapping. <laughs> you absolutely. So this lame. is a circus here, isn't it? Yeah, the, yeah, this is a Panic Family us. Circus. Let's have a show you around. Oh, beautiful. Go. Things anyway, aren't they? Like yeah, like having accidents and falling off stuff and falling into stuff. Oh my god, what's he found now? I've got no idea, instead of bothering with ladders, let's just get these instead. I don't think I could do this. Go on then, get the other one then. Will it not sink into the ground? No. Yeah, can you imagine that? You'll get on it and you'll sink into the stand. Sink, no, sink into the... No, I can't say sink it. In, yeah, you will sink close. in. Yeah, no, I think we better not bother with any of that today. You'll sink in and go flat on your face. I'll just put my hat on, haven't I, as we left the van? It was glorious and now it's gone cloudy. It's going to be a daylight. It's going to be quite warm, isn't it, today? Mm. So This area is the Tom Dibbs area where people come and chill. Some nice music playing. Playing day and night here, aren't they? Yeah, really? really, really good. I could chill out, so. But I want to go shopping, so... Shopping? Yeah. 
we do home bargains. No, there's a shopping area. We didn't buy all yesterday, did we? <coughs> no. <coughs> no, we didn't, so we need to get some churros. No. Have they come back yet? Your, pan your panda Chinese is open. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's what I'll be after. Oh, dear me. Now, we don't normally do this, a lot of this. We stumbled across some motorhomes, haven't we? Yeah, there's so. some motorhomes for sale at the show, but this one's really took me by surprise and I really like it. And it's a Remo. A Remo. I've never heard of Remo either. And it's less than seven metres long. It's a little stumpy thing when you look at it from the outside. So this but, is the outside. Well, look at the garage one. We're looking for some, like, we might be thinking about getting some, but we're a, big, a bigger garage. Now, this garage has three entry points. It has this one, one at the other side, and one from inside the motorhome as well. Lovely garage, but let me take you inside because this has just totally blown my... What, how, how big is it, Mark? 6.7 metres. 6.7 metres, so you come in you to a lovely, mad, spacious... Look Good at point. this. Last time we did a, a, a motorhome like this, what was it, down at Stratford at the yeah, was it an auto exhibition, trail. wasn't it? Yeah, something like that. And it, we used one, but it was like wider. So look at this, look, you can put your arms right out. Yeah, we only do motorhomes on our channel if we really, really like them. Now this one ticks all our boxes. There's only one box that's failed on, and we'll tell you what that is in a minute. But it's got bench seats like what we've got lovely wide aisle and a lovely big table big drop over and the kitchen i'm trying to get it in so where you can it see it out. yeah it's also. massive massive drawers lovely kitchen area lovely and spacious but look at this you go into the bathroom now you might be thinking where is the bed before you go into the yeah bathroom? we'll tell you in a minute okay, we'll show so you. there's entry to your garage from your bathroom again which is fantastic you don't have to go out and get wet you've got a lovely full-size shower mm -hmm. Which We're is right, very stylish. Oh, it's a vent up there. Yeah. Right. You've got, hi, you've got storage up there. You've got a lovely bath there. Oh, sorry, a lovely <laughs> sink, toilet. But let me just stand back a bit, Mark. So look at this. The lady said to me, open the wardrobe at the back. I'm like, which wardrobe? Look at this. Wow. More storage. Well, it's like a walking half wardrobe. Yeah. Put your knickers and stuff in there. Knickers? How many knickers do you think we have? So we've got two drawers in there as well. This is in the bathroom, so you could have all your knickknacks. You've got an hanging rail there, haven't you? You could probably put one on the other side, I suppose. That's just extra yeah, seat Yeah, this pads. is all the seat, seat pads, but let me just come back out, Mark. Impressed. I've never seen anything like this in a bathroom, ever. So, yeah, and the floor is gorgeous. You look really comfortable there, Mark. Yeah, it's not bad. This actually there's two points of downfall for us mark on this yeah lovely fridge freezer at the bottom i've said to the lady i don't like that oven being right up there i'm literally stretching and i don't want to be putting anything hot above my head like that but she said they do put them where the fridge is higher and the oven's lower and the other downside for us is where would we sleep it's an electric bed that comes down mm. So if Mark wants to have a snooze in the afternoon, which he normally does, I've got nowhere to sit. That's the only downsize, but everything else... Does it seem wide? It's massive. How much was it up for? I think it's about 60. Yeah, it's on there, 60, 66 and a half. Recommended re retail, but you've got your I don't think that's bad. So I like really like it. I'd like to see like the it. one with a rear bed and stuff. So yeah, that's the one and only review that we'll do, but really, really like that. Ta-da! We've had a quick change. It's gone absolutely roasting. Got my shorts on for the first time this year, hasn't it? Oh, he got his legs out. It's gone right warm, hasn't it? It is fretting thunder later on, so if we get some thunder about three o'clock this afternoon, we'll definitely show it you, won't we? We like a good storm, don't we? We do, as long as it doesn't pour down as well, because we are on grass. Yeah, we are. We're just walking over to the, is it a pond? There's a pond, yeah, it's a lake, it's isn't it? It's massive. This is at Scampston Hall, like I say. You can come <laughs> here for a day out as well. Well, Mark, we had that duck food. There's no ducks, is there? Well, there's, there's some that flying around. There's geese or something. God, it looks like you could just walk into the water, doesn't it? Yeah. Shallow, isn't Ooh, it? Ooh, it's very shallow. Do you reckon that's deep or is it that's... Oh, tadpoles. It's around about there. Yeah. Tadpoles. I've never seen a tadpole in years. Did you used to collect tadpoles when you were a kid? Yeah, I, I did, we're netting a jar. Yeah. Did you used to collect tadpoles when you were a kid? Because uh used to be the only thing you could do. Now it's all electronic games and phones, isn't it? Yeah. 
No one does it no more. And while we're thinking on, I want to give a quick shout out to a few people that we've met this weekend. Tracy and Amanda, um, lovely to meet you. And also Sharon and Johnny Scarborough, been lovely spending time with you guys this weekend. Uh, hope to catch up with you again soon. But yeah, we'll just carry on walking around. Like yeah. I say, if it gets a bit thundery we'll later. That. And hopefully we get off our grass pitch. Well, as you can see, another change of clothing. We didn't get any thunderstorms, but it has changed a bit chilly, but it's been lovely all day. And um, we've come to the end of the festival. A lot of people have gone home, as you can see behind there. We do still have our friends here. And Tom Dibbs, he's a brilliant singer. He's gonna stay here till late tonight. So we're all gonna grab chairs and go over to Tom Dibbs at his stage and listen to that and have a few, maybe glasses of wine or a pint of beer, who knows? But it has been a fantastic weekend. We have thoroughly enjoyed it and we will definitely be coming back again next year. As I said earlier in the vlog, we will let you know when the new dates are up and the tickets are for sale for this event can't recommend it enough it was a sellout this year and it'll be a sellout next year the uh, entertainment is second to none we've really really enjoyed it but as i say i'm going to leave this vlog here mark's editing a new video for you as i speak uh, we're glad to be back and if you've liked this video please like comment and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one